Hello friends, welcome to OpenStack Cloud Training. In the last lecture, I'm sure you watched my video on YouTube. You learned how to configure the setup that is creating three machines and then setting up networking and the environment. So the environment is set up. The environment is we have uh, three machines, controller, compute and storage. This is ENP0S3 and uh, ENP0S9 is NAT based, ENP0S8 is unconfigured and this is the repository we are using, compute, controller and storage nodes. In last lecture, I copied the data to appropriate directory as stack user. So this is the repository which you can use to provision. I'm following this repository. So let's get started. As you watched in the previous lecture, the files are rightly copied and I'm working on the controller. OpenStack, all cleanup, all cleanup for Ubuntu, config, lib and scripts. These are the directories. So to start with, first we need to understand what is there in the config. In the config, what you have is uh, this op admin OpenStack RC, OpenStack, uh, admin OpenStack RC.sh, config base, config compute. So let's look at what we have in config dot, uh, controllers. We need to understand config controller. So let's look at the what we have. So in the config controller, our first interface is 10.10.0.11, that is static IP address, and interface one, that is ENP0S8, is used for this external connections. And uh, the third inter interface, ENP0S9, is a DHCP. So the scripts are properly configured. Let's look at uh, what do we have in uh, credentials file. This file is referred. Credentials. In the credentials, these are the password. Database password will be root db pass. Rabbit password will be rabbit pass. And uh, admin role will be admin. Project name will be admin. Member role name will be underscore member underscore. User name will be admin. So all these services, whatever we are going to learn, we are going to configure. All the passwords are specified in this file itself. Everything. Also, what we have is very important file is OpenStack. Let's look at what we have in the OpenStack file. In the OpenStack file, you'll see which version we are going to work. You just have to change this name at this location in this file plus one more location, I'll tell you. So once you configure, that means this script is scalable. You can configure it for any release of OpenStack. Just change the release name here and at one more location, I will tell you that. This is for Sir uh, OS operating system, uh, lightweight, uh, Ubuntu, uh, lightweight image for uh, testing our instance launch in OpenStack. And the architecture also you can configure. And this is first network management. We'll be using the term management and the interface is defined here. And the network provider will be used for this flat network provider. This is the network which, uh, which is unconfigured, that is ENP0S8. So provider network cider block, network gateway, all these details you can check in this file. This file have all these details, self-service network, self-service cider block, so uh, DNS resolver, everything is configured in this file OpenStack. There's another file which is a crucial file here is the cluster. Uh, that file actually defines the sequence of uh, scripts. I have made it easy to execute the script in the right order. The host.multi file. This file will be called by my script to configure etc host file. So I need to call the script to set up my etc host file where I'm specifying the IP address for controller, IP address for compute, and IP address for storage for the three machines. So right now, uh, if I try, if I show you sudo cat slash etc slash hosts, you will not find anything. There's nothing configured right now. So you will see that I will configure this using uh, a script which will call this file to set up that. So let's go back and start working. And for that, the scripts are listed in this file CD script. In fact, let me tell you this uh, other files also. The lib file have all the functions required. Whatever functions my scripts are calling, they are defined in this folder library. If you look at lslib, You'll see the files functions because this script, this repository is for Rocky Linux as well as Ubuntu Linux. So for Ubuntu functions are defined here and common functions are defined here for Fedora or Rocky Linux are defined here. So let's go back. 
and check what is there in the main file which is script file all the scripts are listed here particularly uh, etc host file and pre download so i am going to uh, talk about these two files to start with and the scripts in the ubuntu so let's look at this what do we have in etc host file etc hosts this file is calling that uh, functions and paths and uh, the host name from the file which is referred in my file uh, that multi host so this file will set up the configuration let this is calling that the host dot multi file which i was talking about so let's set up that etc host file right now it was not set up so i'll simply execute it this will set up done now if you see cat slash etc slash hosts you will see that uh, file is properly configured so we have uh, controller configured compute configured so etc host file is configured uh, on using the script and the script is etc host then pre download let's look at this file also vi pre download in the pre download you will have uh, the sir os image if the image is not there in img folder then this script will download the sir os image based on the url specified in openstack file so let's take a look do we have that file in home directory under img directory uh, right now there's uh, no such file so this not even uh, does not exist so we can make this directory mkdir the directory is created and uh, we don't have anything so let me execute it pre download and this will create the directory and uh, pull the image and uh, that is a service image which will be used by my glance service to set up an image to create an image in openstack cloud so we are doing uh, ground work the prerequisites and in this session my objective is to start with the three services i will configure first the client openstack cloud client second mysql and third is rabbit mq in fact i'll also configure memcache yes so the image is pulled and it is stored now we can check that it is saved in this file img0s and this is the image which is saved cool and we can verify ls hyphen l slash img in my home directory so the image is configured including the checksum perfect now uh, let's look at that uh, ubuntu directory where we have all our scripts lying so cd ubuntu and here all the scripts are listed in right order so first script is apt init and this is the second file which i was referring to so if i type one underscore apt in it this will initialize the repository look at this is calling all the files in inserting i mean sourcing all the files config paths openstack local rc and functions and after that uh, it is looking at this directory substituting this in fact interestingly it is substituting us archive ubuntu if it is there in the repository it is rep represent rep you know changing it to archive ubuntu the sources in the repository also it is checking the uh, we are using a normal case structure to suggest which version is selected which release is selected so as it was mentioned in the openstack file we are using uh, z if you want to use wallaby just uh, change there and it will use that so it is accordingly setting up the right repository based on the release you select so that's what it is doing the script job is to set up the right repository based on the release you select so you just have to configure these you have to change the script in two places one is here uh, this case structure you have to change you have to you can add your own plus you can remove or you can update the script accordingly based on the release name uh, so once this is done we can run the script this will initialize the repository as of today it will initialize the repository as per openstack z release now the repositories are set up let's look at the second file vi2 second number file is upgrade this will upgrade the packages that will install the openstack client which i was talking about our main task today the first task 
because the four tasks we'll be doing OpenStack client installation which will be done by this script and it is running upgrade and dist upgrade and removing unwanted software auto remove and then cleaning up that repositories uh, the environment so this is what the script is quite a quick script let's finish this script also this will install OpenStack so I'm just executing this script as well executing the script you may get these errors don't get carried away execute the script multiple times don't worry finally after four attempts that is the reason all my scripts are divided into multiple parts like if you're talking about cinder there are four scripts first script will install only the software as an example I'm talking about like Noah this will only install the software this will set up uh, the services in Keystone create accounts and service and other uh, things so that uh, scripts are categorized so therefore you should go one by one and once the first script is successful only then go for the next script and the script are in order so we have executed the second script let's go to the third vi3 underscore install mysql so this script will install mariadb so interestingly it will install mariadb it will download mariadb and this is a missing library i noticed i observed that in ubuntu 22 we need to download this uh, separately and install it after that uh, it will go through the installation of uh, mariadb and set up the required in mysql d section of the configuration file and the configuration file which will be used is under conf.d so this will set up this configuration file and uh, we'll set these values under mysql d section these are the parameters and these are the values so we'll set up everything for us and even bind the ip address so let's run the script this will install mariadb on the controller node so mariadb installation is about to be finished you see it is configuring the file etc mysql mariadb.com.d openstack.cnf and under mysql section now you can see it is created and it is running so MariaDB is done. Now we will go to the script number 4, RabbitMQ. So this will configure RabbitMQ message queue service for OpenStack. So let's execute. This script is getting to be, uh, I mean, is going to be successful in my second attempt and it is done successfully. So RabbitMQ is done. Let's look at the fifth script, memcache. So this will set up memcache server as checking the changes the configuration file etc memcache d changing the IP address management IP will be placed here and uh, because we use that remember that there was a configuration file where mgmt was defined so it is using that IP address 10.10.0.11 so it will configure that so let's execute this script as well so what we have done we have done in the session we have configured script number one initializing script number two that was for uh, upgrading and installing the openstack client script number three installing mysql we installed mariadb and script number four we configured rabbitmq that is message queue service script number five memcache d so we have set up all the prerequisite software including mysql rabbitmq message queue everything in the next demonstration we will go through keystone configuration glance configuration and nova that's what we will do in the next session that's all for this session stay tuned download the repository it is available here and start using the repository right away so this is the repository all the scripts you can find out on my repository and the scripts which I'm executing are given in this Ubuntu directory. All the scripts in the right order, exactly same. So I have set up this repository for you. And don't forget to give good marks and star to this repository. So what I request, you know, give a star and fork it and start using this repository. This is open source repository. You can start using directly. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.